Hey guys, Slaw Dog here. Um, wanted to do a quick review on some new uh, AR control arms that I had purchased for my C4600. Um, as many of you might know, I ended up smacking a pretty good stump. Threw me over the handlebars, did about a hundred and almost two hundred some dollars worth of damage to the ATV. Um, but what I want to show you real quick is. Uh, down here, I ended up installing <clears throat> these Rival A-Arm uh, armor. Um, not sure what this piece is. The guy said that this is new. They just added this to this part. But I mean, they are, they're, they're really well made. Um, I will say they were not the easiest to put on. You can see down there, there's a bolt. Um, I'll show you over on the other side, there's a hanger that goes on there. But um, the front set was, I'm pretty sure, was $103. And don't mind, it's still a little dirty. But uh, the, um, so the front set was $103. And the rear set was, I think, about the same price. Um, so how these went on unfortunately i didn't do an install video so i didn't have enough fingers but i'm going to i'm going to um put the camera underneath the four-wheeler to show you show you exactly where the bolt points are i'm going to try to feel with my fingers and show you so the front ones there's two bolts that come up through and there's a bracket that hangs on top i'll show you here that's right here this bracket that goes here and then the, the bolts come through the bottom of the uh, the actual piece and then I'm gonna try to feel down here here's another one I don't know if you guys can see it right here um, that bolt comes through and then you got to hold this piece steady while you fish it through and uh, sorry it's kind of a pain in the butt um, it's it was not easy with with one person, but I did get it um, So far there's no rattles nothing um, Like I said the, the front ones the front ones are three bolts I'm pretty sure the rear ones were three bolts as well uh, with with the hangers um, But let's go around to the rear Check out the new stickers. Oh snap um so right here in the rear and again sorry guys this is a little dirty but in the rear there's a hanger here so you got to put this hanger kind of hold it in place and then this bolt goes up through the bottom and then there's another hanger right here right there and then this is my biggest piece of advice to you guys if you do end up purchasing these the other bolt on the front side of uh, of this plate actually screws into a hole that's already recessed in the and it's threaded inside the the rear lower control arm. My suggestion to you guys is clean that out with an awl or a very very tiny screwdriver. Um, dirt is packed up in there, and I found out the hard way. I was running one home. Ended up tightening it down a little too hard and snapped that nut, snapped that bolt. So, I mean, it's still holding in place. There's two on the on this side that are holding. Um, they're holding pretty good. And uh, so far, I haven't had any issues. There's no rattle. I'll show you this. No rattle. No rattle. Well, there's some leaves, leaves in there. Leaves in there. But, um, yeah, I mean, hopefully you guys can see down in there. It uh, go up underneath. Yeah, sorry, it's upside down. All right, see the bolts you know, up there. So again, um, the install was pretty pretty tough. Um, the instructions were, I mean, they're they're picture instructions, so I mean, they're they're okay to follow. Um, the one thing that was very difficult for me that I experienced, and this is the rival brands. Um, you, you can pick these up 
a lot of vendors carry them. I know Current RV, CF Moto, CF Moto Parts, CF Moto Parts USA.com. Anyway, I'll put the link in the uh, description below. Um, the Current RV, which I think they're one of the biggest CF Moto Parts dealers, uh, at least on the East Coast. They got them. I got them from them. It wasn't their fault because this is a third party vendor rival. But the only disappointment that I had was it didn't, neither box came with any instructions. I had to physically reach out to the vendor and I had to physically ask them through email hey, I got a box, didn't come with instructions. Second box didn't come with instructions. So, um, they were nice enough really quickly within a day they got back to me with pdfs uh but it just doesn't leave a really good end user experience to not have instructions in the box especially if somebody doesn't you know i don't know doesn't have the ability to understand you know how to get in touch with a vendor um i actually got the vendor's email through another vendor not current rv um because the parts were actually delayed. They were coming on, a, on through a shipment on a container and took a while for the, uh, for the shipment to clear customs. But they put me directly in touch with the actual company for Rival, which was pretty cool. Um, so again, I'm not bad mouthing the company, I'm not bad mouthing the, uh, not bad mouthing the, um, the manufacturer or any other vendor, but you know, things happen. So, um, I do believe these are pretty decent. I mean, they give you pretty decent coverage. I hope you guys can see that. And again, I'm not sure what this is, but I guess this was a plate that they added on. Uh, and I guess it stops stuff from possibly coming in here. There was a gap in here and maybe some, some stuff was coming in here and right in here and somebody, uh, somebody put a complaint out to them and I guess they made, they made a change to the product. So, but I will put a link in the description below. Um, so far, I've been extremely happy with this product. It has performed, I mean, they both front and rear perform great. And um, I highly recommend them. We have two C4 600s now that ride in our group besides mine. I know one's a touring, one's a one up. And I'm gonna try to talk them into also putting these on their machines as well. Um, We've had sticks come up through our A-arms. We've had sticks come up through and twist into our suspension. And I mean, you catch the right stick, about that thick, going at about 20 miles an hour, and it wedges its way up through that A-arm, it, it could take out a brake line. Um, I mean, if it's strong enough, if it's like a tree root, I mean, you could take out an axle. I know I had a tree root shear my lower A-arm completely off. So, once again, I highly recommend it. Um, highly recommend them, front and rear. And I will put the link in the description below. All right. Thanks for watching, guys. <clears throat> well, apparently when I held the camera up um, on my tripod, I was not getting the view that I wanted to show you guys. So I'm going to pop this in here. So if you look here, right down in there are the two bolts right there. And that attaches to a bracket that kind of hangs over your a-arm right there you see it almost acts like a hook and then come around here i'm gonna try to do this with right there right here is the other one and that bolt comes up through the bottom hangs there so i mean you need like multi twisting fingers to be able to hold all this get the bolt under it's best what i found is Try to get these two started right here. Just get them started and it'll hang. Stay in place mostly. And then you can position this bolt, um, this hanger, and then the bolt will come up through the bottom. Hopefully you can see up underneath there. It's probably not, hopefully it's not too dirty. And uh, that's how I ended up putting these on. Now the rear, the rear was a little bit harder. Um, the rears, and as I said, I broke one of the nuts, but I literally had to hold the bracket, this bracket right here. With, I had to sit on my butt with the top of my foot holding up into this while I put this hanger on, screwed that down, right? And then over here, right through here is another hanger. 
and I had to get that started. Hopefully you can see it right there, right in here. That's probably not a good view, but right there. And then underneath, right in that area, is the bolt on the left side, unfortunately, is the one I broke. Um, like I had said, just make sure you clean that out really good with an awl um, or something real thin and sharp. Get all the dirt out because all you're going to do is drive that bolt up through there, the threads, and it's going to press and compact all that dirt. It's going to bottom out and you're going to break it. So, how'd it go? Um, so, hopefully that helps, guys. All right.